video I am doing a writing experiment with my favorite author's routine Maria V. Snyder. I decided to do this for a couple of reasons. One, I recently applied to the college that she works at Sutton Hill. I am hoping to do my MFA in creative writing there and in addition I noticed that she has a lot of similar writing tendencies to what I already do so I'm curious if this would work out better for me than what I usually end up doing. In an interview, she stated that she only recently was able to produce two books a year, so her pacing's also similar to me. And she said she has a routine. She starts writing at 10 p.m. and works until 3 a.m., reads for an hour and goes to bed at 4 a.m., and then she wakes up at noon and works from about noon until roughly 5 p.m. on the business side of writing or critiquing her students' manuscripts. And then she takes a break from around 5 p.m. until about 10 p.m. So I'm going to be starting this writing experiment tonight in about two hours because it's 8 p.m. right now and continue it the next day because today I was working until 3 so I wasn't really able to do the whole noon to 5 thing today. I didn't see anything about if she eats during this time period or what she does in those amount of hours if she has any specific foods or things like that that she likes to do while she's writing. But I know she's also a stickler for research and likes to actually do some of the things that she's including in her novel, like glass blowing. And I'm exactly the same way. I took a self-defense course. I did jujitsu, fencing. I have also I also include gemstones in one of my books, and that's because I have an obsession with gemstones, as I mentioned in a previous video, which you can see up here. I talked about how it was inspired by one of my obsessions with gemstones, and I even have books on gemstones. I have a bunch of gemstones hiding in this closet here from when I had a subscription where it told you interesting things about each gemstone that it sent you in the mail. So this will be an interesting experiment, and I get to kind of pay homage to one of my favorite authors, so I'm excited for it. But now I'm going to sign off at least for the next couple of hours until 10 o'clock. I'm going to see if I can get some of my other work that's not writing related done before I do this experiment. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's a little bit after 10 o'clock. I am going to get started on this writing challenge. I am not working from my desk right now because I just want to be comfortable if I'm going to be up until like three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. And my goals for this writing challenge are going to be working on editing for Spellbound and Gabriel's Curse because I have some beta reads that I want to try to work through. I'm going to try to get at least five or so pages done of that, if possible. And then I want to work on a listicle where I'm doing my top five fantasy books of all time. And then if I still have time, I'm hoping to also work on doing some writing for Amy's Rebellion. So we're going to see how this goes. I am going to start with the editing since that's my most pressing deadline. I'm going to do that for about an hour or maybe an hour and a half, and then I'm going to switch over to working on that listicle. Let's get started. It's about 12.30. I've gotten a significant amount of editing done. I think I'm going to finish up the page that I'm working on and then I'm going to switch over to working on my listicle now. And I will check back in with you again after that. Okay, so next thing I'm going to be working on is listicles. I ended up getting to the very beginning of page 11, which is perfect. That's around where I wanted to be. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to do the listicle, and then hopefully if I have some time, I can do some publish and thrive. We'll see. So I'm not going to lie, it's about 1 a.m. and I'm fading fast, which is weird. I usually stay up far later than this, so I don't know. I am not going to screen record for this because it is a write for hire 
I'm going to just kind of record me as I'm writing, so you'll be able to see, like, my laptop. But you're not going to be able to see what I'm writing. I might share a couple of my favorite lines. But as you can tell, I'm getting comfortable because I know I have another two hours of working and then an hour of reading. I'm looking forward to that hour of reading. Okay, let's get, get down to it. I took a short break. I have some chips and queso, and I'm back. I'm going to keep working on this list as I eat. Okay, so finish. It's all gone. Sad life. It was delicious, though. Alright, back to the listicle. Sweep series. Sweep series. Okay. Okay, I made it. It's three o'clock and I was able to get a thousand hundred words done. I got about seven pages of editing done. And then on top of that, I was also able to finish the rough draft for my listicle. So I feel like today was pretty darn productive. I would say that this experiment was definitely a success for me and I'm definitely planning on doing it again. We're going to see how my plan with the whole working on the business side and everything in the morning ends up going because I still have to do that. And I'm going to read an hour before bed, but I'm not going to film that because it's going to be kind of boring. I'm just going to be reading the book that I've been reading on my Kindle. So that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm going to sign off and finish reading. I have a few chapters left of Flesh and Fire, which I am super excited to read and hopefully finish in this hour of time that I have. That's it for tonight. Bye, and I will see you again in the morning. So today is the next day of my reading challenge. I got up about 40 minutes ago and have already done some of the business side of things. I did about 40 minutes of book promotion stuff from my phone, and I sent out my newsletter this morning, so that was kind of some of the business side. And the other thing she said she does from 12 to 5 is work on student critiques and the business side of writing until 5. I don't exactly, I didn't see anything in, in there about when she eats, aside from like that she eats dinner around 5 it. But I'm pretty hungry, so at some point I'm probably going to take a little break. It's about 12.49 now, so I spent about the first 40 minutes or so once I was awake of just posting on Twitter and doing some other book promotion stuff. And the other stuff I want to work on today includes grading for my class, doing some lesson planning, and also doing a couple of thumbnails for YouTube and some video editing. I'm going to start by working on the lesson plans right now. And after I finish two lesson plans, then I'm going to switch over to working on that YouTube video. Wish me luck. Lesson planning, here we go. It's about one o'clock. I'm going to take a short break to get some food and take the dog for a walk, and then I'll be right back. Okay, it's about... 124 and I'm back. I'm going to keep working on lesson plans for another couple hours, however long it takes me to get the two lesson plans done, and then I'll switch over. One thirty-one. Almost done this first lesson plan. Okay, that's one lesson plan down. Second lesson plan. Alright, it's about 2 o'clock. I just finished two lesson plans. The next thing I'm going to work on is just some basic grading and then I also need to contact my students to let them know what the homework schedule is going to be for the week. So I'm going to work on that next. Unexpected development, the internet went down for a few minutes. So while I waited for it to come back up, I went and had a little bit of a snack, some chips, a couple little mini donuts. I finished with the two lesson plans. Right now I'm working on sending emails to my students for next week. And then after that I'm going to work on a little bit of YouTube stuff. 
and some greedy. So, it is 3.20. The internet is still not cooperating with me, so I am just going to work on some video editing until 5 o'clock. Or for as long as I can. If I'm not able to get the internet to cooperate with me before 5, then I'm just going to do whatever I can do without the internet. Because can't get my work done if I don't have internet to do it. So, well, we're going to give this a try. I am now switching over to YouTube stuff. I'm going to edit my last video, which was an office tour. By office tour, I mean this lovely desk that you see me sitting at. I just kind of gave a tour of this and then the rest of this room. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the rest of this YouTube video. I've done the majority of it, as you can see. I just kind of need to do the opening and the ending. So I'm, I, I need to add those two things in here. And then I'm going to edit the audio so there is no background noise. So that's what we're going to work on now. I just need to find the rest of the clips. We're going to go to cam pictures and then camera roll. And then I should be able to find it in here. Let's see. We have a lot of old clips here. I think it's one of these. I just have to figure out which one it is. Okay, that pretty much covers it for the video editing. Now I just have to work on the audio. I just managed to finish up with this thumbnail for my office tour video, so I'm just going to download this and then get everything set up for tomorrow with that video. By then I'm pretty much done everything I wanted to get done, so I might actually be able to finish my work day a little bit early instead of at 5. Because I've basically finished everything, I'll just check to see if there's any grades that I need to work on. But that's it. We're going to find out if I need to work on anything. Let's download this. Oh, I already did. Okay. I got my thumbnail for my office tour video. I'm going to set up my SEO stuff. And then I have to see what kind of tags and stuff I want in the video so I have better viewership. Export video. Okay. So highest quality. We're going to do an MP4 file. And ta-da. And now we're going to wait. And while I'm waiting, I can work on my grading. I've got about 20 minutes left of my work day. I'm feeling pretty good about what I was able to get done today. I am proud of myself. Hey everyone, it's about five o'clock, so I just wanted to give you an update on how everything went. As you may have noticed throughout the video, I had a little bit of internet troubles for at least the noon to five. I didn't have that problem when I was working at night, so I was able to get quite a bit done. However, for this one, towards the last 30 minutes or so, I opted to just work on some social media promotions because my internet was not cooperating with me. But I did still get quite a bit done. I did grading for the only grade that I've received so far because it's around the beginning of the quarter. So I'm not receiving grades just yet. I managed to get two lesson plans done. I sent out emails to all of my students so that way they know what homework is due and when. And then on the business side of writing, I spent about roughly an hour just doing business promotion stuff, mostly social media promotions on Twitter. And I also went and finished editing my office tour video and made a thumbnail for it. So now all I have to do tomorrow is upload the video and put in all my SEO and keywords and stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy about what I was able to get done in that amount of time. Do I wish that the internet hadn't gone out so I could get a little bit more done? Kind of, but that's okay, and now I only have a little bit to do the rest of the day, and I can spend the next five or so hours just chilling and relaxing. My overall take from this experiment is I think it, if I weren't working a double shift right now as a teacher, it would work really well for me. If I was just working, let's say, like, in the evening, it would be perfect. But because I am working in the mornings, I think it's not practical for me to do this every day, although I really did like it and felt that I was more productive. But that's all for today. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel down below. And let me know if there are any writers that you like that you want to try a writing experiment with.
or that you'd like to see me do a writing experiment video for. It was kind of inspired by Kate Cavanaugh. She does a lot of really awesome writing experiment videos, which I'm going to link one of them up here. But I've noticed a lot of the videos she does aren't like for my my personal favorite authors. So I decided I wanted to do one with my personal favorites. And I also am hoping to do some videos in the future with some indie authors because I don't think they really get enough spotlight in the YouTube community. That's all. Thanks. Bye.